हेलो गाइस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट अ मोटरसाइकिल स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम रेस्ट एट एस इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड ट्रैवल्स अलोंग अ स्ट्रेट रोड विद द स्पीड शोन बाय द वीटी ग्राफ वी आर गिवन दिस वीटी ग्राफ एंड इट इज सेड दैट डिटरमिन द टोटल डिस्टेंस द मोटरसाइकिल ट्रैवल्स अंटिल इट स्टॉप्स व्हेन टी इक्वल्स टू 15 सेकंड also plot the et and s of t graph so this motion happens in three time intervals that is from 0 to 4 seconds then from 4 to 10 and from 10 to 15 so we will consider these intervals one by one and we will find the acceleration as a function of time and the distance as a function of time so now for t greater than equal to 4 seconds the velocity is given is 1.25 t and the s is equal to 0 at t equals to 0 so now we know that uh, the acceleration is equal to dv by dt so we can write the d by dt and velocity is 1.25 t so the derivative of this is acceleration is 1.25 this will be meter per second square so for this from z from t equals to 0 until 4 second acceleration remains constant since the velocity the change in the velocity is uniform so the acceleration will be constant and that is equal to 1.25 meter per second square so now let's say that uh, this one box represent an acceleration of 0.5 so this is 0.51 and somewhere here is 1.25 So let's say that uh, at until four second the acceleration remains constant and that is one point two five. Let me write that this is one point two five meter per second square. And then we know that the velocity is d s by d t as well. D s by d t is one point two five t. And from this we can write that d s is one point two five t. into dt and then we have to integrate this from t equals to 0 until t and the s value is 0 at t equals to 0 so we need to integrate this from s equals to 0 until s right so when we integrate this we will be left with s this is from 0 to s and the integration of the right hand side will be 1.25 t square divided by 2 from 0 to t and now if we put these limits we will get s minus 0 equals to uh 1.25 divided by 2 is 1.25 divided by 2 gives us 0.625 so let me write it here this will be this will be s minus 0 and this is 0.625 t square from 0 to t and if we put these limits we will get 0.625 t square minus 0 so this will be s equals to 0.625 t square and now the the s value the distance traveled after 4 second that is s at 4 second is 0.625 into 4 square so this is answer multiplied by 4 square is 16 this gives us 10 the distance traveled in 4 seconds is 10 meters so now after t equals to 4 seconds the t value is 10 let's say one box represent 10 meters this is 10 and since this is a second degree curve and this value is positive so the curve is going to going to be like this the geometry of the curve is going to point out in the upward direction the curvature is going to be in the upward direction so this will be s of t graph from from t equals to 0 until t equals to 4 second and this is represented by 0.625 t square then for the second interval when t is greater than equal to 4 seconds and less than equal to 10 seconds we are given that v is equal to 5 that is the velocity is constant so v so v is equal to 5 meter per second and if the velocity is constant the acceleration is zero so the acceleration is dv by dt 
and d by dt of constant is zero so the acceleration for this interval is zero so now for for this interval between 4 and 10 second the acceleration is zero so the motorcycle is moving with a constant velocity so the acceleration will become zero for this interval and now we know that velocity is ds by dt so ds by dt is 5 and from this we can write that ds is 5 multiply by dt and then we have to integrate this 5 is constant now we have to integrate this for the second interval that is from t equals to 4 second until t and the s at 4 second is 10 meters so we have to integrate this from from 10 to s now when we integrate this this will cancel out and we will have s from 10 to s and this will be the integration of this will be this will cancel out we will have 5t from 4 to t and if we put these limits this is s minus 10 equal to 5t minus 5 into 4 and this minus 10 on the other side will become plus 10 so this will cancel out so from this we can write that s is 5t and this is minus 5 into 4 is 20 plus 10 so this gives us minus 10 this is 5t minus 10 so now for the second interval s is the the s of t curve is straight line right that is represented by 5t minus 10 and now at the s value at 10 second is 5 into 10 minus 10 so this is 50 minus 10 so this is 40 meters so now when s equals to when t equals to 10 second s is equal to 40 meters so this will be 20 30 and 40 so somewhere here is that 40 and this is represented by straight line so we will join these two points by straight line and this straight line is represented by 5 t minus 10 and this is 40 meters now for the third interval that is when t is greater than equal to 10 seconds and less than equal to 15 seconds again we are given the velocity that is minus t plus 15 so velocity is minus t plus 15 and again the acceleration is dv by dt this is d by dt minus t plus 15 so this is this will give us the derivative of this will be minus 1 meter per second square so for t greater than 10 second and less than 15 second the acceleration is constant again and this is minus 1 so somewhere here this is 0.5 and this is minus 1 so somewhere here is minus 1 and at 15 second the acceleration will become at 10 second the acceleration will become minus 1 so the graph will will go like this and then until 15 second it will remain constant and then it will become 0 so this is minus 1 meter per second squared so the the graph for the acceleration looks like this so this is the acceleration graph and now we have to find s of t so now from this we know that ds by dt is equal to minus t plus 15 and if we multiply both sides by dt so we will have the equation like this now we have to integrate this so now the integration will be from t equals to 10 second until t and when t equals to 10 second s is equal to 40 so this is from 40 to s so now when we integrate this this will cancel out so this will be s and this is from 40 to s and now the integration of this will be minus t squared divided by 2 plus 15 t and then the limits are from 10 to t so now if we put these limits this is s minus 40 and this is uh, minus t squared divided by 2 is minus 0 0.5 t square plus 15 t 
and then minus then we have to put this lower limit that is 10 so that is minus 0 0.5 into 10 square plus 15 into 10 and this minus 40 on the other side of the equation it will become plus 40 so this will be the equation so this will be s equals to minus 0 0.5 t square plus 15 t and let's add all these constants so this is minus minus into minus 0 0.5 into 10 square plus 15 into 10 is 150 and then plus 40 so this is minus 60 so this gives us minus 60 so now this is s of t function and if we want to find s at t equals to 15 so we have to put this will be s at 15 seconds this is minus 0 0.5 into 15 square plus 15 into 15 minus 60 and this will give us s at 15 second equals to 52.5 meters so in the problem statement it, it was required to determine the total distance travel determine the total distance travel that is the the total distance the motorcycle travels until it stops when t equals to 15 seconds so the total distance traveled is 52.5 meters and the s of t function is this this is minus 0 0.5 t square plus 15 t minus 60 so now it's a second degree curve it's a uh, quadratic equation and the coefficient of t square is negative so this means that the curve will point out in the downward direction its curvature is going to be in the downward direction so from 10 to 15 seconds and let's erase this right so at t equals to 15 seconds the distance traveled is 52 so somewhere here is 52 so somewhere here is that value it is 52 and the curvature is going to be in the downward direction and it's a second degree curve and now there is one another method to find the total distance traveled by the motorcycle and that is since we know that uh, velocity is equal to ds by dt and we can say that ds is equal to v dt and this is if you want to find the total distance so that will be equal to the area under vt graph so now this is vt graph and if we find the areas so this is let's say area 1 area 2 and area 3 if we add up these three areas that must be equal to 52.5 that we got at the end so now this area is let me find that the total distance traveled by the motorcycle is the area of the first triangle that is 1 divided by 2 and this base is 4 and the height is 5 so that is 4 into 5 plus the area of this which is 10 minus 4 this is 6 into 5 so this is 30 and then the area of the third triangle which is again 1 divided by 2 and this is 15 minus 10 so this base is 5 and the height is 5 so this is 5 into 5 that is 25 so now let's find this this is 1 divided by 2 so 0 0.5 into 4 into 5 plus 30 and plus 25 divided by 2 that is 25 divided by 2 this gives us 52.5 so the total distance that is traveled by the motorcycle when it comes to rest after 15 seconds is 52.5 meters so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning also subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems from hibler dynamics